Hey guys, this is a new Unity tutorial in which I want to show you how to drag game objects in your game around with the mouse. Here's my demo scene with the stone and the rock, both have colliders attached. And what I will do now is to add a new C-sharp script to the project that I attach to the game object so that I'm able to drag them around while the game is running. I call the script drag object and then I open it in Visual Studio. Ok, here's the class called drag object, we don't need the start and update methods, but I add another one which is called on mouse drag. And as the name implies, this is called when the object is dragged with the mouse. In this method I want to set the position of the object to the position of the cursor and add a certain offset. But what is this offset? It is basically the difference between the position of the game object and the cursor in the 3D world. This is a vector 3D and we can store this in a member variable when the left mouse button is pressed. To be notified about this event you can implement the method on mouse down. Now we have to keep in mind that we are working with coordinates in the 3D world. But the position of the cursor is a screen position X and Y. So what I do to get the mouse position in the 3D world is to implement a method that I call getMouseWorldPos. In this method I get the mouse point from the input class, but as I said we have to convert this from pixel coordinates to world coordinates and for the set coordinate we want to use the one from our game object. This can also be stored when the left mouse button is pressed, so I create another member variable of type float for this and assign it here in the onMouseDown method. To get it as a screen point I use the world to screen point method of the main camera and in the method getMouseWorldPos I use it as the set coordinate of the mouse point. Then I convert these screen points to world points and return this vector as result. Ok and now we can use this method to set the position of the object when it is dragged with the mouse and also to calculate the drag offset when the object is selected by pressing the left mouse button. Alright, then I attach the script to the rock for example. And when I start the game, you can see that we can drag the rock now with the mouse. Ok, this works, we can do the same for the stone that has a box collider attached. And it could also be really interesting when we attach rigid body components to the game objects. Ok, that's a quite nice result, I copied the script to the comments below so that you can use it in your own projects. I hope you liked this short tip and if you do then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you want to support me, consider being my patron, this would really help me creating more tutorials like this. Thanks a lot guys for watching, thanks for your support in advance and I'll see you in the next one.